everyone, welcome back to Things to Know Education. Right now, I'm at Georgian College's Owen Sound campus and about to head inside to the Center for Marine Training and Research. It's a specialized program like no other, so let's go learn more. I'm here with Dr. Dave Shorey, Executive Director of the Owen Sound campus. Now, Dr. Shorey, tell me about what is going on here at the campus. Sure, I mean, we have a lot in a small footprint. Yes. So we have skilled trades and engineering technology programs. Um, we have over 700 apprentices on campus actually, and power wow. engineering grads, yeah, they go to our nuclear sector, advanced manufacturing. Um, we have uh, a full healthcare suite, so um, PSW, practical nursing, honors bachelor of science in nursing, and we have Central Canada's Marine Research and Training Institute. So we do have five bridge simulators to which you'll be able to get a look at. Uh, we have our propulsion lab, which we're standing in right now. And we also have a number of um, other marine emergency duties training spaces. So our live fire training space, we do in-water rescue. Uh, so we do have a lot of, the, the priority is on hands-on learning. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's those that are active mariners that are coming to get that kind of certification and, and upskilling, yeah. or it's our post-secondary students that we're able to expose our debts to this kind of uh, sector through this hands-on learning. This is what we're about. We have yeah. nearly 100% employment rate out of out wow. of our programs. Yes, that's fantastic. And we have a lot of corporate partners. So Canadian Steamship Lines, Algoma, McKeel, I could keep going. Um, so we have a lot of partners in the marine sector that we're working with. And when you take a look at the size of the campus and the ratio of student to faculty, the classes are small. There's a lot of hands-on learning. I think it's again a testament to the kind of quality of program we offer. I couldn't agree with you more and I can't wait to learn more. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Shere. Right now, I'm with Captain Colin. Now, Captain, mm -hmm. this looks amazing. What room are we in right now? We are in one of Georgian College's uh, marine navigation simulators. Right now, we're in Hamilton Harbor in wonderful Hamilton, Ontario. Amazing. And we're on board a simulated version of, uh, of a Great Lakes ship. Uh, it's a great place to get things wrong. You know, you might be embarrassed a little bit, but you're not going to cost any money, you're not going to cause any pollution, and yeah, nobody gets and no hurt. no one's going to get hurt, exactly. So it's a fantastic place to, to kind of teach and to learn. So you could come in here as a student practicing uh, pilotage in the St. Lawrence River, and instead of having to work on a ship that, you know, took months to do three or four runs, you can do that in a couple of hours here. Yeah. So you get to just replay things and learn them and learn and them really over and over again and get really yeah. good at it. So we have our, our three-year nautical cadet training program and in that program people come in straight out of high school or mature students or anybody and they may or may not have any experience whatsoever. Okay. So they have to learn right from the start. And then we also bring in um, uh, seasoned seafarers and they either have to upgrade uh, their certification or um, some of them come in and teach for us which is kind of great and then after that final year is over they go and they write some exams at T Transport Canada and they come back and they're wow. always you know what this really helped bring what is written on a page to life, to life. for us and then we right. could con we could communicate in the language required and uh, mm -hmm. it really allows us to bring I guess seafaring and and some of the skills to life for the students mm -hmm. and uh, they it's fantastic. I'm here with Professor Andrea Lucano. Now, Andrea, tell me about your role here at the college. So here at the college, I teach primarily for the marine engineering side and do have some with the navigation. We've got our lab set out where you're taking things apart. You're seeing what is that internal puzzle that's happening and putting it back together. And then in a place like this with the simulator, of putting all the systems together and how one system needs to operate in order for essentially that full city at sea can function and that vessel can move. So it's a lot of hands-on experience that is gained here and then in conjunction with our co-op requirement, our sea time that the cadets get, they are physically looking after those components on the ships, learning from those in the industry that have many, many years graduates of this program or the others throughout the, co throughout the country, mm -hmm. as well as those that have come in from international. It's one aspect with our license is that we can take it wow. elsewhere. We have so many avenues and doors open because of this program where then they can see themselves going from seaside to shoreside. Wow. So seeing them progress in the industry is the assurance I need that I'm where I need to be for the next generation to be where they need to be. 
Brooke, it's lovely to meet you. So what year are you in in Marine Studies? Uh, I'm coming into my third year, so I started the program nice. in fall of 2021. and I'm finishing up my last couple of courses now. Uh, we have really quite a small class sizes, which I love. Um, you're on a first name basis with all of your professors. The help that you need to succeed is always available. And because we have small classes, we get to know our classmates really well. So we, we build lifelong friends that we might sail with in the future. You know, I'm really excited to continue working and meeting other women in the industry. I look forward to sailing with other women. Future Captain Brooke, we shall yes! see. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait to get that over an intercom on any kind of ship. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That was amazing, and guess what? We're not done yet. We're gonna catch up with Teddy over at Georgian College's Aurelia campus where he's gonna learn more about their veterinary technician program. That's right, Nicole. I'm really excited to learn all about their active clinic and their vet tech and assistant programs. 